Hi friends, it's Liz here. So today I have another one of those really fun one page wonder projects. This one is super fun to make, really easy. You don't need to sew anything. You don't need to, um, you know, use any type of um, string for binding or ribbon. Um, I love the fact that it's it can be totally flat and it's part of um, what I wanted to do for a flat mail or, you know, if you're sending um, anything that you want to keep kind of um, not so bulky in the mail. So this idea, I saw it uh, on Treasure Books channel, Natasha, and um, it was such a cute idea. She mentioned that she saw it on Lyric Lover Crafts um, channel, and so they both did a different version. Um, so I'm going to show you the one I did. Mine is uh, very different from theirs, but of course it was their idea that brought this together. I'll show you a flip through. We'll make one at the end. So fun and easy. You're going to love it. And, uh, and then I'm going to show you my new printables because I used a bunch of them in this project. Okay, so getting started, um, you can see how nice and flat it is. Okay, the cover, I added um, one of my new printables and I backed it just with paper. So the first, um, uh, you know, flip here, you've got a little tuck spot in the back. Okay. And then this one, I added like a little pocket that has lots of spaces for ephemera. Now these two are part of my, um, this one's part of my mini ephemera kit. And this is one of my new kits, which I will show you in a few minutes, which is my, um, mini happy mail kit. I just, I had to put something together because I'm making a lot of little things to send out. This little banner here that says crafty is also part of my new one. And again, this little pocket, you can just add so many things to it. But I thought I would just um, show you how cute the, you know, little embellishments are. So the back of this one here, again, these are part of my new embellishments. Okay. And um, this one, I made it like a little journaling card where I could write a little note. Um, it says, thanks a latte. And you can see this one says, it's a beautiful life there. Um, I added a mini envelope. And then here's got a little hello. Um, I did design this one so you could just write someone's name on it. And I thought that would be, make it a little bit more personal. It's just got a little bit of, you know, space to journal in there. This is also from my new one. And the paper I used to make the envelope is actually from one of my latest kits as well. So this this one comes part of it as well. Um, I just printed it twice so that I can kind of have the image on both sides. And you've got a tuck spot on this side. Everything I've used, all the printables, um, are part of some of my kits, so I'm not going to mention them all, but I will link them below if you're interested in seeing them. On this side, I made like a little a pocket with a doily, and then again, I just filled it with a few pieces. This is part of my new one. Okay, and then we flip that over. We have another space. Now you can add a photo on these uh, pages, or of course, like I did here, I just added a little element. Again, this um, happy moments is from my most current printable. These ones are from past ones. Here I made a little tuck spot, again with another little banner from my current set. This one's from my recent set, and this one's from a past one. And it's just like little pieces that you can add that you know someone can use in their um, in their mail. Now here you've got a pocket in the center that I had taken this out. I've tried making this video a couple times and I'm having such technical issues. So I just wanted to um, to mention that. So there we go. We've got a little tuck here, a little pocket I should say, and then that's got a little, um, you know, journaling card. So here I made a little pocket. This is part of my new one. So it's this piece here. And then I just added tiny tags to go with it. This is all keeping in mind as well that I love making uh, micro mini journals. And so I thought these pieces would be perfect to go with that. So here's just a little tuck spot. Again, I made it with my most recent one, my most recent kits. Just, you know, how you could add little ephemera if you're sending this out to a friend. Here I did um, make these photo corners so just from leftover paper. And I'm just showing you here how you can fit a nice... Um, little photo if you wanted to um, add photos or you know make this into like a mini album you know maybe keeping like a special moment or a visit that you had somewhere that would be nice too you've got a journaling card and then this one's also part of my latest kit okay let me show you quickly what is in my kit and then I'll show you how to make this super quick and easy all right so I've got two pages to this one 
this one is um you can see like the um the flags have doubled so I, you can print them to to a sheet and you've got different little sayings like hashtag creative think happy crafty eat sleep craft repeat these ones i made them so you can color them in and all these are meant to be cut out and used in different things so for example i used it here as a little flag on the crafty right and then here i just added it like as a little embellishment um i've been making lots of embellishments and so i've also been using a lot of these to go with them this one here um, is a lot of little cards that you can write names. So for example, here you can write your friend's name. This one says, thanks a latte. Now I also designed this because I can't find a lot of ephemera. Um, you know, if I want to add something that says something nice or a little, a little note or something in my mail. Um, and I'm also making pocket letters. So I thought these would be the perfect size. Um, I also can't um, I'm not very good at fussy cutting. My hands just won't allow it. So um, I've designed some pieces. For example, the thanks a latte. Like I said, I could write, you know, someone's name in the back. But if I wanted to fussy cut it out, you can see that it's the right size. It would fit like a little sticker somewhere if I wanted to print this out on sticker paper. And if you happen to have those uh, machines that can cut things for you, that's probably even better. Um, this one here as well, I designed it so you can fussy cut the label out but it still looks really nice if you leave it together. And I did show you how I used it in this um, little album here. I just used it as a, as a little tuck spot. And the last one I wanted to mention is this one here, which I made it so that you don't need to cut around it if you find it hard. You can use a one and a half inch punch or a similar, um, you know, maybe die cut, that's the size, and they will cut it out for you. So, like, these are some of the little elements that I've included. Like I said, this one you can color in. This one says happy. There's quite a few little sentiments that, um, you know, you can add in your special projects that you're sending to friends. Like I said, I made this specifically for a sale mail that I'll be sending out, but also just to add it to my other projects. I will link this one below as well as all the other ones I mentioned that I've used. Um, we will be making the album today um, and I'll show you how to do that and then I'll also show you what they look like if you're using um, you know different kinds of paper all right let's get started so I'm going to show you what you do super easy peasy you take your 12 by 12 and you cut it into three pieces of 4 by 12 right so 4 by 12 4 by 12 4 by 12 okay and i'm using again one that has like a blank side to it so single-sided um and then this is the easiest part and i'll sh i'll tell you what i did different than what they did because it just um i don't know it just made it so much easier for me so you take your sheet and i use my scoreboard for this because it's got like a lip and this just makes sure that i get like an even half fold but all you do really is fold your sheets in half okay so you're folding them all in half of course I'll make my lines a little bit crisper after I've shown you the the way to do this okay so I folded them all I'm going to um, I'm just going to do this offside because I want to make sure that my my lines are nice and crisp and, and I'm going to show you the little pockets that I made, which again are different than how the ladies made theirs in the video. So you take your folded sheet, okay, with the closed side. So this is my open side with the closed side. I'm going to make a score line at the half an inch mark, okay? So I'm doing this. And because I'm going to be folding this in every direction, I'm going back to the other side and doing it again. So we're going to do this to all our sheets, making sure that you've got your opening on one side. Just wanted to check that I was in frame. Okay. All right, so. The next thing we do 
is we fold all our scores, making sure that they're nice and crisp and folded. And this is what's going to give it a nice, um, nice finish. So I'm going to do that to all of them and come back. Okay, so we have our three pieces, okay, folded. And I make sure that I make sure to do this to all the um, ends because I want to make sure that it is very flexible and it moves where I want it to. So because this is the same pattern, it doesn't really matter what my pages, where my pages go. So basically, we'll start with the first two, okay? You've got your... Um, your sort of valley on the inside there, right? And then you've got your next page. So this is what I did different. I just added glue to my half an inch before my little score there, and I just glued them together. Now they went ahead and did the three hole punch or two hole punch, one of them did two holes, I think. Um, but I thought, well, <clears throat> why bother with that for this one? because if you just glue them together they bind together and i don't need to punch the holes so that gives me a little bit more freedom if i wanted to add let's say you know some string just around for decoration or some ribbon um, and also it makes it nice and flat so there's really nothing that is um, hindering my binding process okay so i do the same for this last page again i'll just add glue to this side and while i'm doing this i wanted to say thank you so much for supporting my channel my shop subscribing hitting that notification bell giving me a thumbs up that lets me know that you like the videos i'm sharing with you and it keeps me coming back to make more um, thank you for clicking on my affiliate links as you know when you do click on them for example amazon and you shop you don't get charged anything extra it just helps me um, a little bit with a you know a minuscule amount of potential commission from anything that you purchase um, and eventually that will add up to something um, i'm trying to update maybe my microphone here or just my lighting setup for all of you and that will really help me in the long run to get that stuff to make better videos so here's our our bound it's already bound okay we'll do the same to the center because obviously i don't want this to be you know kind of flopping everywhere and now this will seal the whole thing onto itself and that's that so now to make our pages so i'm going to show you here with my little sample again okay so this here um and <clears throat> this is the other thing right they stick out a little bit, but because it's the same pattern, you don't notice. I think if it was a different pattern, it might be a little different. But right now, that doesn't bother me that it's like like a little hairline that sort of sticks out. Because when you kind of bump them together, it pushes them out a little bit, right? Okay, so moving on. So this is our first page, okay? So what I did with this one, I just folded it and, you know, just decided how how much of a pocket I wanted to leave there or a tuck spot I should say and then I hope that is even no it is not I should not have done it this way but say la vie let's fix it if we can so anyways you just have to make sure that you know when you're folding it over that you've got your even pages there and everything matches okay and then this is where we would have a tuck spot so I'm just gonna try fix it a little bit but of course you know embellishments will kind of make it nicer so there's that there and then all we do to make our tuck spot is just glue top and bottom okay and then i'll show you the other half pocket which i thought was super cute and again this is just the changes that i made from what i saw because i was inspired to do something with a few pockets etc okay so there's that and then I left that as is, so you can see that this is now our little tuck spot, right? And then over here, you've got kind of like a shorter page where I designed it with the um, this one that sort of sticks out on both sides. Okay, so then our next page, which I thought was also super cute, and then I'll show you a little tip that came out of that, which I thought was fabulous. Okay, so what I did with this one is I just folded it right up to the edge, and the best way to do that is to just 
kind of fold that to the next page where it's supposed to be. So you can see how I did that there, right? Again, just trying to keep it straight. It's hard when I'm crafting and I can't put my head right over the project to see if it's even. But then you can see what I did, right? So I grabbed my page, folded it back, and then just made sure that it, it, um, it lines up properly. Okay, and then, this is the fun part, we add glue to three sides because essentially this now becomes our pocket and I'll show you how in a moment. Okay, so glue that down. I should have put something underneath it so that glue wouldn't spill over on my next page, but that's okay. So now you've basically sealed it onto itself. Okay, I took my same punch and I just did a little, and I'm going to do it this way just because otherwise it probably won't work. Okay, and then I'll show you what came out of that, which is super cute. So I punched it through, okay, and then I just took my scissors and just kind of snipped off a little bit there and a little bit there. And now we have our little center pocket, which still has to glue. Let's refer to glue, but then you've got your little center pocket. And check this out. If you want to make little leaves, isn't that cute? For fall, I thought that was super cute. So I'll be making some more of these for sure. I'm just using my little punch. Anyways, so I'll show you quickly just um, how it would look if you've got your double-sided um, paper. You can see here that because this one had like a different design on one side and then it just kind of gives it a little bit more, um, just a different look. But of course, you can go ahead and add your papers to cover up, you know, your blank spaces if you wanted to. Did that glue down? Yeah, it did. So there's my little pocket. And here's my little thanks a latte. So you can see how quickly that was to put together. And it was so fun to make. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's that's all for this one. Oh, yeah, so here we go. See how you've got that little white sticking out of that? If you want to, just go ahead and, and trim that off. You can just do that on your um, trimmer or with your scissors. Um, again, if this was double-sided paper, you wouldn't see the white because it's got a different pattern on it. But um, yeah, if it bothers you, cut that off. For mine, for this one, it didn't bother me too much because the patterns were sort of close together. And I think I just trimmed off like a, a hair of that there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick share, my friends. As always, um, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you make something that I share on my channel, please um, tag me on Instagram or tag me in your video. I would love to see it on Facebook. Just post it how you normally would post it and then add the um, at least the paper project and um, I will definitely um, check it out. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I hope you like the share. I hope you check out my printables. Like I said, I'm trying to kind of help myself and others with the fussy cutting issue. Um, and let me know if you've got any other suggestions. Um, keep an eye out for my next video. I've got some fun things to share. Thanks so much for stopping by.